believe I haven't slept since the Fisk takedown. Gotta start taking better care of myself. What about my dog? His couch is comfortable. Man, was I ever a dork. Well, we all have an awkward face. Miss you. So I was into horses. Wasn't everybody at some point? I can't take this. You can, and you will. I'll pay you back. Soon. Just ask for help next time. Oh, you are so much like Ben. You have to learn to swallow that Parker pride and accept that you're human, like the rest of us. Martin. I'm sorry to interrupt. I just wanted to let you know I'm headed out of town. You're in charge while I'm gone. Well, you can count on me. How long will you be away? Uh, I really don't know. Is everything okay? It's some personal business I've been planning for a while. But please take care of this place. It represents the best part of me. Well, I guess I better get busy. Mr. Lee's okay. Hello? Hey, did you see my story? I did. Robbie must be pretty happy right now. Yeah, it kind of went viral. And get this, Mayor Osborne just announced he's going to give Officer Davis an award this afternoon. Wow. Wait, isn't Osborne's campaign rally this after... Oh. I see what he's doing. Yeah, we all do. But still, a pretty cool moment for Officer Davis and his family. I'll be there covering it. Wanna join me? Yeah, of course. See you then. to the city and try to pay it forward. This is good stuff. Howard, long time no see. How's Pidgey doing? He's a little down today. Misses his cousins. Been a bit of a whirlwind for both of us. Owners of my building, rezoned for commercial. We had to move into Feast to get our bearings. I'm so sorry. New York landlords can really be heartless. When they kick me out of my place, they 
set all my birds loose. Pidgey's the only one who found me. I've been looking everywhere for the rest of them, but with my bad leg and all... You know what? I get around. How about I keep an eye out for him? ceremony today. I'll be glad when it's over. A truck full of armed demons scares me less than public speaking. But I'm calling about something else. What's that? Just got a tip that the demons are moving on the fifth construction site of Midtown. Why well, would if I ditched the ceremony prep to play cops and robbers, but I thought maybe my friendly neighborhood partner would want to know. Understood. I'll do a swing by let you know what I find. And hey, here's a tip on public speaking. Just picture everyone in their underwear. Wait, not Osborne. You know what? Just never mind. <laughs> I found one of Pidgey's cousins. Dusty Gray Flex. Might have just left a stain on my suit. Clarence. Guy's a little devil. <laughs> but he's a charmer. Give him a pat on the head and point him towards me. He'll find his way. No problem. I'll do the same for any others I find. Pigeon target acquired. Don't fly away, please! It is my responsibility to catch that pigeon. I give it.
pigeon. Don't fly away, please. She's got some fine birds. Oh, uh, yeah. Sure we are, Spider-Man. Thanks again. And please, keep an eye out. Chase is on. I hope nobody sees me doing this. Pigeon target acquired. Ah, gotta get him. Pigeon alert! Ah, gotta get him! Pigeon knows the city better than I do! Caller lives in the air. You're on with J. Jonah Jameson. Yeah, um, 
The thing is, it all happened in a shipyard that's been closed for years. There weren't any innocent people in danger. Oh, is that your expert opinion? Well, let me tell you what I've learned from sources I developed in my award-winning journalism career. That shipyard was a front for Wilson Fitz. He's been using it to smuggle guns, grenades, military-grade ordnance. Oh, that explains a lot. Ah, the truth bombs. Hey, here's a 50-megaton payload of fat. While Spider-Man tried to grab the glory for himself, chasing one side. Another vehicle got away with an arsenal of deadly, illegal weapons. This, for all his faults, would never have let them be used in this city. These demons? Either they're some kind of fanatical cult, or they just don't care. Anybody feel like they're in danger now? The pigeons eat spiders. Oh, Spider-Man, you're a prince. Just fine for <laughs> I love these names. Is Sandra happy to see them back? Well, uh, actually, she's not with us anymore. Can't you know. Howard, I'm so sorry. Oh, it's okay. Life for living, not moping. First thing she told me after the diagnosis. Gotta remind myself that every now and again. Finding the rest of these birds would really mean a lot. Thanks, Spider-Man. You're gonna do it? This screwball challenge? I don't know what that is. Well, no one does. That's the best part. Just take a picture of the code on the wall and it starts. Easy peasy. It's to help the needy. Well, in that case... Got it. SM! You accepted the challenge! Welcome to my stream! BT Duck. Now that you're on board, the views are racking up like crazy! Here's how it works. The matrix barcode you snapped is sending you the GPS coordinates of another matrix barcode in the area. Um, this is starting to sound time consuming. Sorry, but people need my help. Ooh, funny you should say that, because this is to help the needy. One in particular. The final matrix barcode will give you the location of a, wait for it, <gasps> kidnapping victim. What? I know, <laughs> talk about raising the stakes. Oh, isn't she telegenic? Trapped, helpless, will she starve? No time to lose, the internet is watching. Ta-ta. This got dark fast. She's nuts, but I have to play along. There's the next Matrix barcode. This one isn't going to be so simple.
Got it. Oh, snap! Ha! Shout out to my fans, some of who just joined my stream and joined Spidey I on Yes! Robot! Has anyone lost their mind? While we enjoy the action scene, let me read some messages from my squad. Thug Forever says, Love you, Screwball. Your stream kept me going while I was in jail. Too bad, guys. Guess you'll have to go back to the cinnamon challenge. Sorry about that, Spidey. I can't help it if my fans get personally invested. They're passionate. <laughs> hashtag blessed. Did you just say hashtag out loud? That's honestly almost as bad as the kidnapping. Snapping that code should have sent you the GPS to the next location. You better hurry. Our friend's all alone and, oh, so sad. There's the other code. Split across two buildings. This'll take finesse. Got it! Now this is totally unofficial, but I'm hearing some of my fans decided to bring you a little care package. I think they're saying you're the bomb. <laughs> you might want to grab those fast. Address isn't far from here. I need to hurry. everywhere this is it can you hear me hold on I'm gonna rip the door down oh my god, oh my god spider-man I can't thank you enough for the millions of clicks I just got Woo! screwball <laughs> I know right ah oh, you should see the look on your creepy moving eye hole thingies oh look more of my followers Screwball! Put us on your feet! TLDR. <laughs> I don't officially know that. Then tell them to stop! We've got superpowers! The same fair! Stick. <sighs> For a spider based hero, I'm really starting to hate the web.
There's a pigeon. Yeah, gotta get him. I can't abide. It's egomaniacs who use the internet solely to draw attention to themselves. And we just had a real meeting of the minds in that respect, as the online personality screwball pranked fellow narcissist Spider-Man into an epic snipe hunt that put innocent people in danger. On the one hand, screwball did show us all just how gullible and reckless Spider-Man is, rushing headlong into dangerous situations without knowing or caring who he'll hurt as long as cameras are on him. On the other hand, is no better. Unlike me, she's not trying to expose wrongdoers like Spider-Man as a public service. She's just in it to promote herself, which I think is absolutely despicable. They don't go away. Just the facts with J. Jonah Jameson will be right back after this important message about how you can buy my book. Howard's Pigeon. Oh, no, there it goes. Hey, slow down! Man, I wish I spoke pigeon. Pigeon target acquired. Oh, come back, little birdie. Sweat, Howard. These birds are lucky to have you. I try. Sandra was always better with them. They're her birds, really. Well, now that she's gone, they're yours. Feels like a part of her lives on that way, you know? I definitely know. You're a good man, Howard. Anytime you want to stop by and see the family, <laughs> feel free. Karen says he misses you. Thanks again, Spider-Man. <laughs> 